Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. In the Bible, we read of unclean spirits or demons possessing people. There's times like the man with the spirit of legion, where they caused him to do harm to himself. Other times they take full control, like the boy that would convulse and get thrown into the fire. And still at other times, they cause physical ailments, like the man with the deaf and dumb spirit Jesus cast out, or the hunched over woman with the spirit of infirmity that was set free. But we only read of Satan possessing someone once in the Bible, and that was Judas. Satan didn't thrash him around or anything, but used Judas to betray Jesus. Was he still possessed by Satan when he hung himself? We don't know, but I don't think so because he felt remorse. But that could have been from the devil as well. I think most conclude that based on 2 Thessalonians 2, that Satan will possess the man of sin or the lawless one. It reads that the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. Satan's going to use this man to deceive. He's not going to look like the movie version of the devil. We know that he comes as an angel of light. He's going to seem like the good guy. But the Bible tells us what Satan is really like. Satan is the god of this world, as 2 Corinthians 4 tells us. We read in 1 John 2.16 that the lust of the flesh and eyes and pride comes from the world, which is Satan's, as we just read. So Satan is proud and lustful. So we can expect to see those characteristics in the Antichrist as well. John 8.44 tells us that he's a murderer and a liar. 1 Peter 5.8 describes him as a roaring lion who walks around seeking whom he may devour. So he's dangerous and looking to destroy anything he can, especially that which honors God. We know he's powerful because not even Michael the archangel would rebuke him without calling on the Lord in Jude 1.9. We know that he tempts people with power as he did with Jesus on his 40-day fast. We know that he's crafty, subtle, and sneaky, and we are warned of this in 2 Corinthians 11.3 as when he led Eve astray. And he's deceitful, which is why we are told to put on the full armor of God to protect us against his schemes. So all these characteristics are things to keep in mind as we wait for the Antichrist to be revealed. Click the video above for some interesting thoughts on whether Satan can actually heal people and feel free to leave your comments below. But until next time, take care and God bless.